Reverend Insanity. Chapter 1826, given to Feng Jin Huang. Master, please speak the secret code. That timid voice spoke again. Ying Wu Zai spoke, Heaven has nine layers. That voice continued, The land has five regions. Ying Wu Zai spoke, Throughout the ages. The voice continued, Ruling over all beings. With a loud sound, two knees landed on the ground, and a sobbing voice could be heard, She knew pays respects to Master. Stand up. Ying Wu Zai laughed, raising his hand as a signal to the kneeling Rockman Gu Immortal. The Rockman Gu Immortal kowtowed three times before respectfully standing up. However, facing Ying Wu Zai, his hands were still dropped, his legs were closed tightly and his body was still in a half-bowing posture, his eyes only gazing at Ying Wu Zai's feet, not daring to look straight into Ying Wu Zai's eyes. The Gu Immortal aura from him was strong, at rank 7 level. Ying Wu Zai used fixed immortal travel, but did not go straight to Hu Immortal Blessed Land and seize Dang Hun Mountain. Instead, he arrived at this secret base of Shadow Sect in Central Continent. Ying Wu Zai's soul was a split soul of spectral soul demon venerable. Previously, his childlike frankness and lack of sophistication were because of the pure dream reality seeker physique erasing the soul's memories. With his memories erased, Ying Wu Zai was like a newborn, he would naturally have limited shrewdness. But the battle on the edge of life and death tempered his character, and going through the imparting of spectral souls will in the Red Lotus true inheritance, Ying Wu Zai's memories had already recovered to some degree, and was much more mature and steady when handling matters. He had experienced rebirth and thus already knew Fang Yuan's arrangements. Not only could he not use any goo worms on his body, Fang Yuan's fake will was in his mind, and slight carelessness would have his thoughts influenced. He had an extremely large number of goo worms, as well as a dazzling array of immortal goo, but Ying Wu's eye could only use fixed immortal travel. In such a situation, he naturally would not stupidly run to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Even if he had ways to deceive the land spirit, he still required many goo worms to put them to use. If he entered Hu Immortal Blessed Land without any preparations, he would definitely be found out by the land spirit, and that would be truly troublesome. Thus, Ying Wu Zai used fixed immortal travel to first arrive at this place and make preparations. First take me to the underground core. Ying Wu Zai instructed. Yes, master. Gu Immortal Shi Nu quickly responded. The two drilled into the ground, going through many twisting dark tunnels and arrived before an underground chamber. This chamber was extremely large, spanning as far as the eye could see. The yellowish-brown soil in the chamber was extremely dense and thick, constantly rolling around. In the periphery of the chamber were layers and layers of goo formations, for healing, concealing, supporting and other uses. Ying Wu's eye fixed his eyes upon a spot, vaguely seeing a sphere made of a soul in the center of the soil, sinking and rising. He observed it for a while, letting out a sigh. This soul sphere was Bo King's soul. Back then, Sword Immortal Bo King failed in passing his tribulation and was barely saved by Shadow Sex Split Soul Yellow. Thousands of years had gone by, but the injuries to Bo King's soul were instead worsening. Not only did it not recover, it was reduced to this soul sphere. Bo King's soul was struck by the myriad tribulation. Water path Dao marks lingered around him, constantly generating without pause. Although it was inhibited by the dense earth path Dao marks in the underground core, it was temporary relief that could only delay for some time and not cure it. Even with Spectral Soul Demon Venerable's foundation, they were at a loss on what to do. However, Shadow Sect had never given up. To look over this area, Shadow Sect subdued a group of rockmen. After some nurturing, they raised a rockman goo immortal. This rockman goo immortal was she knew. Originally, Spectral Soul Demon Venerable had planned and conspired for tens of thousands of years to refine sovereign immortal fetus goo. Although she knew was only rank 7, 
he was also a considerable battle strength. Unfortunately, when they were about to summon him, an unexpected mishap occurred here. A wild one-eyed giant ape appeared, she knew had no choice but to come out and fight the giant ape and draw it away. Back then, Heaven Overseeing Tower had already set the situation, Shadow Sect was already busy dealing with this and thus did not summon she knew. As such, Gu Immortal she knew had luckily survived. Actually, there were many unexpected incidents occurring in all aspects related to Shadow Sect. Apart from she knew, the most clear example was Qin Bai Sheng running into Feng Jiuji. Spectral soul demon Venerable wanted to refine sovereign immortal fetus Gu, desiring to go against heaven, heaven's will would naturally see to stop it. If spectral soul demon Venerable was an otherworldly demon, the situation would be somewhat better. Unfortunately, he was a native of this world and was extremely restricted by heaven's will. Shadow sex strength was absolutely not small, and it was spread over five regions. But because of Heaven's will's obstruction, they were not able to use all their strength. After Spectral Soul Demon Venerable was defeated, Shadow Sect dispersed. In particular, their subordinate organization, Zombie Alliance, was completely annihilated. But in the five regions, they still had some remaining arrangements. Like Gu Immortal, she knew. After half an hour. Where is this? Tai Bai Yun Sheng came out of Ying Wu's eyes' immortal aperture. It is not who immortal blessed land. Hai Lu Lan also came out of Ying Wu's eyes' immortal aperture shortly afterwards. The two gazed at their surroundings in doubt. They found they were in an underground room. The arrangement here was extremely crude. The two used investigative goo worms and immediately found this underground room was only a small portion of an entire underground maze. This is the underground environment of Rockman. So this is below the ground. Tai Bai Yun Sheng had a slight realization. Ying Wu Zai nodded. Right. We have already returned to Central Continent. Right now, we are in Earth Abyss. The Rockmen here have already been transferred out. This is a secret base arranged by Master. No wonder you put star form blessed land in Earth Abyss. So Master had already arranged a location in Earth Abyss. Tai Bai Yun Sheng smiled. So Fang Yuan's second blessed land is also in Earth Abyss. Ying Wu Zai mentally noted it down. Purple Mountain True Monarch, Hai Lu Lan's mind shook as she narrowed her eyes, staring at Ying Wu Zai and asking, why did you not go directly to Hu Immortal Blessed Land? Ying Wu Zai was already prepared, replying calmly, It is not that I don't want to return, but my identity is exposed now. Heavenly Courts Gu Immortals know about me. Although their speed in returning to Central Continent can't match fixed immortal travel, don't forget that they have information path methods. They can notify the ten great ancient sects to surround Hu Immortal Blessed Land. Such a simple matter, they definitely have already done it. If we directly return there, we might just be sending ourselves into a trap. So I first moved here to scout for intelligence. Then what did you find out? Hai Lu Lan asked. Ying Wu Zai sighed. It is like I expected, my identity has been exposed. Central Continent's ten great ancient sects already know that we are the true culprits of the destruction of 88 True Yang Building. Who immortal blessed land is already surrounded, and they will attack the blessed land any moment now. Tai Bai Yun Sheng was greatly shocked. Dang Hun Mountain is still there, what should we do? Tai Bai Yun Sheng knew Fang Yuan had already found a revival method. As such, who immortal blessed land's value had greatly reduced. What was more important were the cultivation resources in the blessed land. Dang Hun Mountain was extremely important they had an inexhaustible source of income with it. Ying Wu Zai sneered, who immortal blessed land is lost. I will let the ten great ancient sects safeguard the resources inside for a while. Sooner or later, I will take them back. The urgent thing is to make preparations and recover. Ah. Ying Wu Zai suddenly stopped speaking, his face revealing a shocked and startled expression. What happened? Tai Bai Yun Sheng quickly asked. 
a furious look flashed past Ying Wu's eyes' eyes, before he bitterly smiled and brought out fixed immortal travel's destroyed body. I was struck by shadow sex moves, but forcibly activated fixed immortal travel. Now, it is destroyed. This, for a moment, Tai Bai Yun Sheng and Hai Lu Lan both felt deeply regretful. Fixed immortal travel was extremely practical. Now that it was dead, the three immortals all felt great loss. Ying Wu Zai was extremely furious inwardly. How could fixed immortal travel self-destruct all of a sudden? It seems Fang Yuan left behind some methods. Damn it. He not only schemed against me, he intentionally let me use fixed immortal travel to try to lure me into going to Yitian Mountain. Moreover, he still left behind this method. Since fixed immortal travel could self-destruct, then the same should also apply to Fang Yuan's other goo worms. Thinking of this, Ying Wu's eye was immediately unable to stand by. He now had to think of ways to subdue these goo worms of Fang Yun. Fang Yuan's arrangement had truly caught him unprepared. Special will, it should be the special will. Looks like I need to race against time. I need to borrow immortal goo to suppress his goo worms. I can't let them self-destruct as well. Ying Wu's eye screamed internally unable to conceal his anxiousness on the surface. Tai Bai Yun Sheng felt something amiss and asked in concern, Fang Yuan, what's wrong? Ying Wu Zai's face was very gloomy. We have huge trouble. I must quickly deal with it, otherwise my other goo worms will also have the same ending as fixed immortal travel. What? Is there anything I can help you with? Tai Bai Yun Sheng immediately felt like his heart was burning. He also felt anxious. You two rest and recuperate first. You will be led to your rooms by the rockman in a while. HMPH, I can deal with this situation. After all, Master has not only left behind this stronghold, we still have our network. Ying Wu Zai finished speaking, and then left. Meanwhile, in Central Continent, Tian Tai Mountain. We have broken through. We have broken through. Ha 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 who immortal blessed land has finally been captured by us. Let me see what benefits this kid Fang Yuan had gotten. Be patient. Don't forget Dang Hun Mountain will be managed in turns by us, the Ten Great Ancient Sects. Gu immortals of the Ten Great Ancient Sects of Central Continent flocked inside, excitedly storming their way into Hu immortal blessed land. Afterwards, it was like their whole bodies were drenched in cold water. Empty? How could it be empty? There is nothing here. What's going on? Where is Dang Hun Mountain? Where did Dang Hun Mountain go? Central Continent's Gu Immortals shouted one after the other. You are Lord Feng Jiu Ji, who immortal land spirit appeared in front of Feng Jiu Ji and looked at him with her large watery eyes. Feng Jiu Ji was slightly taken aback. I am. My master instructed me to tell Lord that he has already taken everything he needs. As for this blessed land, it shall be given to Lord's daughter, Feng Jin Huang, who immortal land spirit said openly. What? Fang Yuan was faster than us? Didn't our combined deductions say he was still in southern border? Why did Fang Yuan hand over who immortal blessed land to Feng Jin Huang? Could it be that the two of them... Speaking of it, ever since the Refinement Path Convention, these two have been pretty close. Everyone in the Ten Sects know of this. The Gu Immortals mumbled. Feng Jiu Ji's gaze swept past them, and these whispers immediately stopped. Chapter 1E27 Nine Five Sovereign Immortal Aperture 12 Going back a while ago in time. Fang Yuan chased Ying Wu Zai with no results. He stopped in the air feeling dejected. Darkness was becoming deeper as it enshrouded the land. This was a cold night. Wind blew eerily as Fang Yuan felt a chill in his mind. His original plan was great. Making arrangements in his body, leaving behind fake will and special will, lending fixed immortal travel, according to Fang Yuan's estimations, this plan was very likely to succeed. But the result in reality was failure. Fang Yuan did not know that he had succeeded once, 
but because of heaven's will and spring autumn cicada, it all fell apart. Even though he lost, Fang Yuan decided to face the results without denying or trying to make excuses. In fact, he was mentally prepared. This was his mental fortitude created after hundreds of years in this world. Any plan, no matter how detailed, had a possibility of failure. Even shadow sect and spectral souls plan over tens of thousands of years, after so many deductions, didn't it still fail? Even the former demon venerable failed, not to mention Fang Yun. In this world, no matter who it was, there was no one who would never fail. Fang Yun attempted to guess Ying Wu's eyes situation. The most likely scenario was that right now, because of the obstruction of southern border Gu immortals, Ying Wu Zai could not go to Yitian Mountain. If that was the case, Fang Yuan's arrangements were still in place. Ying Wu Zai had not discovered them. This was not the worst situation. Perhaps if Fang Yuan continued chasing them, he might get back all his Gu worms and regain his peak battle strength again. But this was only one possibility. Fang Yuan had a vigilant nature. He considered defeat before thinking about victory. He preferred to make the worst possible assumptions and prepare against them. Then, what would be the worst situation? Fang Yuan floated in the night sky, asking himself. The worst case scenario was if Ying Wu's eye found out his arrangements and exploited them to his benefit, deceiving Tai by Yun Sheng and Hai Lu Lan, going to star form blessed land or who immortal blessed land and taking all of his assets. This was very possible. From Fang Yuan's perspective, Ying Wu Zai was spectral soul's split soul. His foundation was very abundant. It may not be hard to detect this arrangement. The most important thing was, Yitian Mountain had manifested a gigantic dream realm. The dream realm was the greatest obstacle. Ying Wu Zai could not return to Yitian Mountain. Spectral soul's main body had already fallen deep into the dream realm, Ying Wu Zai definitely wanted to rescue his main body, but he had too few dream path goo worms. In his previous body, there were a number of dream path immortal goo and mortal goo, but after the body detonated, it was unknown whether these goo worms still existed. Goo worms were very fragile, even immortal goo could be destroyed by a child's fingers. Even if these dream path goo worms were still alive, the dream realm was way too big. In his current state, Ying Wu Zai could not enter the dream realm and take these goo worms back. Fang Yuan did not have a mentality of leaving things to chance. He stopped chasing them and landed on a nearby mountain. There were many mountains in southern border, with many forests on these mountains. Fang Yuan was leaning against a huge pine tree. He sat on a thick branch as he calmed his mind using connecting heaven goo. He had borrowed four rank five mortal goo from Huo Kongdong. One was flying smoke goo, one was fire cape goo. The other two were connecting heaven goo and divine sense goo. The latter two were necessities to goo immortals. Using these two goo worms, they could connect to treasure yellow heaven. It was the biggest market for goo immortals across the five regions. It was not suspicious that Fang Yuan sought these goo worms from Huo Kongdong. If he had them in the first place, he could buy some appropriate goo worms in Treasure Yellow Heaven. He would not need to run around naked. But he could not ask for more. Even if Fang Yuan had attitude goo, and Huo Kongdong would not suspect his identity, the latter would think that he was taking advantage of him. Fang Yuan had inspected these four goo worms before he carefully used them. There was no issue with connecting heaven goo, but when Fang Yuan was about to use it, his body shook, he showed an expression of immense shock. With his mental fortitude, he could already completely conceal his emotions. But at this moment, his shock was so great, it was unprecedented in his entire life after rebirth. Even when he learned that the mastermind of Shadow Sect was Spectral Soul, Fang Yuan had never been so shocked before. His body and mind were trembling. His mind was quaking incessantly. He was staring with wide-opened eyes, looking at the night sky and lush leaves. He appeared like he was in a daze. Calm down. Fang Yuan blinked, telling himself, 
but his breathing was rough. His heart was beating rapidly. He sent his consciousness into his immortal aperture again. At the second glance, Fang Yuan observed his brand new immortal aperture again. Immense shock. He frowned, his entire body tensed. An unbelievable immortal aperture was presented to him. What sort of amazing immortal aperture was this? If I did not witness this personally, I would never believe that such an immortal aperture exists in the world. Fang Yuan was filled with this thought. In fact, he had already been mentally prepared. Spectral Soul had spent tens of thousands of years and used up almost all of Shadow Sex assets. What was it for? It was to refine this rank 9 sovereign immortal fetus goo. Looking over the entire refinement process, they first used the 10 extreme immortal zombies to create the 10 extreme immortal zombie lifeless formation. They next used the bodies and immortal apertures of countless southern border goo immortals who died as goo refinement material. They next sent the members of Zombie Alliance, over a hundred immortal zombies into the formation. Finally, the demon venerable did not stint on sacrifices to himself to activate the ten extreme formation. Finally, using the countless grand tribulations and myriad tribulations, this grand feat was achieved. The difficulty of each of these steps was unimaginable for rank 8 Gu immortals. Just the first step, to collect all ten of the ten extreme physiques, it was very difficult. Tens of thousands of years of planning and waiting, along with some luck, were needed to do this, not to mention the rest of the steps. After spending such a great sum and sacrificing so much, a rank 9 immortal goo was formed eventually. Even if Fang Yuan did not know the inside details, he knew that this sovereign immortal fetus goo had extraordinary power. Rank 9 immortal goo, in the vast numbers of goo worms, had the same status as rank 9 venerables. They were extremely rare, extremely precious, and extremely powerful. Fang Yuan had interacted with a rank 9 immortal goo before. That was Wisdom Goo. Facing Wisdom Goo, he did not even have the ability to refine it. He could only use the light of wisdom. It was like seeing a luxurious meal, but he could only smell it. Even so, the smell was so amazing and brought Fang Yuan immense benefits. Without the light of wisdom, Fang Yuan could not progress so rapidly and fiercely to this extent. He recently encountered his second rank 9 immortal goo, Sovereign Immortal Fetus Goo. This time, not only did he smell it, he swallowed this supreme meal whole. Spectral Soul Refined Sovereign Immortal Fetus Goo. It is definitely not so simple. There are profound mysteries behind it. After rebirth, this idea was lingering in Fang Yuan's mind. But he was chasing after Ying Wu's eye. He had no time to explore the mysteries of this body. Fang Yuan's new body was formed by sovereign immortal fetus Gu. Even though there were huge mysteries behind it, there was no rush. The urgent matter was to catch Ying Wu's eye and take back his Gu worms. Thus, Fang Yuan threw this matter to the back of his mind. But now, he failed to catch Ying Wu's eye. He had to make a response to the worst-case scenario. Thus, he wanted to use Connecting Heaven Gu to enter Treasure Yellow Heaven. At this moment, he looked into the Immortal Aperture for the first time. With just one glance, he was extremely stunned. Because the scenery of this Immortal Aperture was not normal, it had greatly exceeded Fang Yuan's common sense in regards to cultivation that had been accumulated over hundreds of years. This immortal aperture was a rank 6 Gu immortal blessed land, but the space was huge, extremely huge. To what extent? Most rank 6 Gu immortals had medium or low-grade blessed lands. A low-grade blessed land had a size of 2000 km2 at the maximum, while a medium-grade blessed land could have a size of 2700 km2 to 4000 km2. This was the case for most rank 6 Gu Immortals. A smaller number of rank 6 Gu Immortals, who were like Tai Bai Yun Ching, had an impressive inheritance and had abundant foundation when ascending to Immortal, they would obtain a high-grade blessed land. High-grade blessed lands were formed with a size of 4700 km2 to 6000 km2. 
high, medium and low-grade blessed lands were the cases for most rank 6 Gu immortals. Most because there were exceptions. The 10 extreme physiques, great strength true martial physique, northern dark ice soul physique, verdant great sun physique, desolate ancient moon physique. Once a person of the 10 extreme physiques became a Gu immortal, like Hai Lu Lan, they would obtain a super grade blessed land. Super grade blessed lands had a territory of over 6,700 km2, but did not exceed 13,000 km2. The above information refers to the starting size after immortal ascension. Super grade blessed lands were very rare. Because the 10 extreme physiques were already rare to begin with, and most of them would die along the way. There were few who could become immortals. Of course, once a ten extreme immortal came into being, just the space of the immortal aperture was a huge asset for them. Bigger immortal apertures were better, because the larger they were, the more space path Tao marks they had, and the more they could carry. The production of resources and limits on their growth would be higher as well. Many Gu immortals encounter a problem when they cultivate. Their immortal aperture did not have enough space. Their beast groups were too big, they had to sell some. The variant humans were too large in number, they needed to sell slaves. There were too many flowers and grass inside, they had to get rid of some. Everyone knew that the larger the beast groups, the more young they would produce. Everyone knew that the larger the number of variant humans, the more they would reproduce. Everyone knew that their plants were more valuable when they were allowed to grow and expand further. But they had no choice. The size of the immortal aperture was the limitation. Thus, many Gu immortals tried all ways possible to increase the sizes of their immortal apertures. For example, expand space immortal Gu could increase the number of space path Tao marks in the immortal aperture, it was one of the ways to increase the space inside of the Immortal Aperture. Chapter 1E28, 95 Sovereign Immortal Aperture 22. However, methods like Expand Space Immortal Goo were only icing on the cake. No matter what methods were used, the biggest factor in determining the limit of the size of the Blessed Land was still its grade. Looking at Fang Yuan's Immortal Aperture again, Every layer of his immortal aperture had over 33500 km2 of space. 33500 km2 already exceeded the super-grade blessed land of a 10 extreme physique Gu immortal vastly, and this was just one layer. Fang Yuan found that his immortal aperture had 10 layers, and each layer had more than 33500 km2 of space. Adding them up, Ten layers amounted to over 335,000 km2 of space. What did that imply? Fang Yuan could not imagine, because he had never heard of such a ridiculous immortal aperture in the world. The large space inside was only the first point. Fang Yuan's immortal aperture was split into ten layers. This was very unique. Normal blessed lands would not have separate spaces. They only had one unified area. For example, who immortal blessed land and star form blessed land. When would the space inside the immortal aperture split up? It was when immortal apertures become grotto heavens. By then, the immortal aperture would undergo changes according to the Gu immortal's body, creating many different areas and segments. Starry Sky Grotto Heaven was a prime example. My blessed land has the characteristics of a grotto heaven. Even what may be the greatest blessed land in the world, Langya Blessed Land, only has one unified space. And Langya Blessed Land has fallen from a grotto heaven, while my blessed land has just started at rank 6. And in this first layer, it is split into five areas. Fang Yuan's immortal aperture had ten layers. The first layer was a vast piece of land, split into five areas. The second to tenth layers had no soil or earth, they were empty. What made Fang Yuan surprised was that the five areas in the first layer were divided very clearly. The central area had the most fertile soil and differences in terrain within. The southern area had many mountains and peaks, it was moist and foggy. The northern area had huge grasslands with strong winds. 
The eastern area was a sea with countless islands, like a huge chessboard. The western area was desolate and had high temperatures. It was mainly a desert. This arrangement, isn't it the five regions of this world? Southern border, eastern sea, central continent, northern plains, western desert, Fang Yuan mumbled internally. What shocked him were the second to tenth layers. In these nine layers, there was no soil, there was nothing, but they were all colored red, orange, yellow, green, azure, blue, purple, white, and black, respectively. Aren't the immemorial nine heavens arranged with these colors as well? But later, Ren Zhu and his ten children caused seven of the heavens to collapse, resulting in the fragment worlds of the immemorial seven heavens to scatter and fall. Right now, only white and black heaven are left. Nine heavens, five regions, nine five, sovereign. So this is why it is called Sovereign Immortal Fetus Gu. In fact, Fang Yuan had some expectations that his immortal aperture would be different from others, that it would be very exemplary, but he did not expect it to be so impressive. Impressive to the point that Fang Yuan felt a little fearful. Fearful. This emotion seemed hard to understand. But to make a comparison, Tai Bai Yun Sheng was an elite person. Hai Lu Lan was a ten extreme immortal, a genius among elites. And what was Fang Yun? He was far beyond any genius. If he had to be described in one word, that would be monster. Towards geniuses, people would feel admiration, envy or resentment towards them. As for monsters, freaks who went far beyond common sense, people would feel fear and the urge to eliminate them. In the 500 years of Fang Yuan's previous life, his aperture was only high grade. After rebirth, his strength path immortal aperture was only medium grade. He had worked hard for the goal of attaining super grade. But suddenly, he obtained this immortal aperture. All of a sudden, he had turned from an ordinary goo immortal to a ridiculous and freakish monster. Naturally, he felt some fear. I cannot let news of this immortal aperture be exposed. Once it is exposed, I will face an endless wave of enemies who wants me dead. But even if I told people about this immortal aperture, nobody would believe me. Ah, no, at least, Spectral Soul would believe it. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan's expression turned grim. The better the nine-five sovereign immortal aperture was, the deeper the enmity between Fang Yuan and Spectral Soul, along with Shadow Sect, even though Fang Yuan had not uncovered the mysteries of the Sovereign Immortal Aperture, yet, on the surface, with just these traits, his relationship with Spectral Soul and Shadow Sect was already irreconcilable. Even if the other party did not have Rank 9 cultivation level, they were quasi Rank 9. Against such an enemy, Fang Yuan felt deep pressure. Right now, Spectral Soul's main body is still trapped in the Dream Realm. But he has planned for tens of thousands of years, he definitely has backup plans. Ying Wu Zai is his split soul. He is now in my body with his whereabouts unknown. Most importantly, Zombie Alliance is finished. While Shadow Sect lost terribly, how much foundation does this secretive super force have left? And, in the 500 years of my previous life, did Shadow Sect and Spectral Soul succeed? His new body was very useful. In just a moment, Fang Yuan thought of many things. The thoughts in his mind collided into one another, causing intense reactions. I should connect to Treasure Yellow Heaven first. Fang Yuan cleared his mind. It only took a bit of time for him to absorb the information regarding the Sovereign Immortal Aperture. There was no big issue. He used Connecting Heaven Goo and Divine Sense Goo easily finding Treasure Yellow Heaven. Treasure Yellow Heaven was the number one market for Gu Immortals of the five regions. It had a huge origin. It was formed from a Gu Immortals Grotto Heaven and a large immemorial Yellow Heaven fragment. Yellow Heaven, of the immemorial Nine Heavens, was of the same level as White Heaven and Black Heaven. Even when a mortal raises their head, they would see White Heaven and Black Heaven, when a Goo Immortal uses Connecting Heaven Goo, they could sense Treasure Yellow Heaven.
which was like a torch in the darkness. His attempt at connecting to Treasure Yellow Heaven was very successful. Soon, within Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture, there was a smooth mirror. Inside, he could see Treasure Yellow Heaven. Fang Yuan activated Divine Sense Gu, sending his thoughts inside. In a short time, he found Little Hu Immortal. In accordance with Fang Yuan's instructions before he left, Little Hu Immortal had been keeping her connecting Heaven Gu open the entire time. After rebirth, even though Fang Yuan did not know how the Battle of Yutian Mountain would turn out, he knew that if he was exposed, Hu Immortal Blessed Land would be besieged by Central Continent Gu Immortals. The Dragonfish and Eerie Fire Dragon Pythons inside Hu Immortal Blessed Land had already been shifted into Star Form Blessed Land. Hu Immortal Blessed Land only had Dang Hun Mountain, several Fang Yuan stone nests, and a large number of hairy man slaves left. In the underground cave, there was Wisdom Gu, as well as the Sword Path Immortal Gu that Fang Yuan had taken from Immortal Zombie Bo King. Dang Hun Mountain was kept in Hu Immortal Blessed Land so that he could easily sell Guts Gu. After all, Hu Immortal Blessed Land was connected to Spirit Affinity House and Immortal Crane Sect. If it were in star form Blessed Land, it could be easily deduced. There was another point. Hu Immortal Blessed Land was an enslavement path Blessed Land. It had a larger number of enslavement path Dao Marks. It could allow Fang Yuan to manage the hairy man slaves more easily. If these hairy men were moved to star form Blessed Land, they would not be as obedient and would not refine Gu as enthusiastically. Even though hairy men were variant humans, they had emotions, their attitude to work varied. Of course, Fang Yuan was considering Hai Lu Lan and Blazing Heaven Demoness as well. As for Wisdom Gu, Fang Yuan wanted to relocate it the most. But Fang Yuan did not have this ability. Back then, his agreement with Wisdom Gu was made under a special situation. Fang Yuan and Little Hu Immortal quickly connected. Is it master? Little Hu Immortal was joyous as she asked this. It's me, Fang Yuan answered. It really is master. Quickly confirm the secret code with me, Little Hu Immortal said again. The two confirmed the code as Little Hu Immortal said happily, Master, are you okay? I miss you so much. Fang Yuan laughed. He told Little Who Immortal some important details as he told her to use Plan B Section C. All along, Fang Yuan had been facing a lot of mental pressure. He was worried that Central Continent's Gu Immortals would attack Who Immortal Blessed Land. To minimize his losses, Fang Yuan used the Light of Wisdom and deduced many plans to deal with many situations. Furthermore, he gave these plans to Little Who Immortal. It was good to prepare in advance. But after hearing his words, Little Who Immortal thought about that plan and was stunned. She spoke as she cried. Master, Master, you don't want me anymore? I am very obedient. I will listen to Master more from now on. Heh. Fang Yuan laughed. Don't worry. Plan B Section C has been recently edited. Act according to it and the other party will not truly accept you. Little Hu Immortal smiled through her tears. She trusted Fang Yuan completely. She did not doubt his judgment. She followed this plan and contacted Lang Yalan Spirit. Over on Lang Yalan Spirit's end, Fang Yuan had already told him long ago, after all, he was the external supreme elder of Lang Ya sect. Lang Yalan Spirit quickly dispatched a group of rank six hairy man Gu Immortals using a stargate to get to Hu Immortal Blessed Land. They displayed the ancient battle formation, Heavenly Giant Solar, turning into a giant and carrying Dang Hun Mountain, before placing it in the immortal aperture of one of the hairy man Gu Immortals and going back to Lang Ya Blessed Land through the stargate. Little Hu Immortal next brought them to Wisdom Gu. The hairy man Gu Immortals were stunned, they transmitted the information back to Lang Yalan Spirit and after his shock, he used his methods to convince Wisdom Gu to enter one of their immortal apertures before going back to Lang Ya Blessed Land. After learning about this outcome, Fang Yuan relaxed. 
he had no choice but to expose Wisdom Gu to Lang Ya Lan's spirit out of necessity. The outcome was that Lang Ya Lan's spirit did not disappoint Fang Yuan. He was an obsession of the rank 8 long hair ancestor after all. Back then, long hair ancestor's refinement path attainment had exceeded that of two venerables, giant sun immortal venerable and thieving heaven demon venerable. He was the number one refinement path immortal of all times. He had an unfathomable foundation. Some people in the future who researched him conjectured that long hair ancestor's limitation was that he was a hairy man variant human. If he were a normal human Gu immortal, he might have reached the supreme realm of rank 9. After Lang Ya Lan spirit transported Wisdom Gu to Lang Ya Blessed Land, Fang Yuan contacted Star Form Blessed Land and sent Luo Po Valley, which was inside, to Lang Ya Blessed Land as well. This way, Dang Hun Mountain and Lang Ya Blessed Land were both inside Lang Ya Blessed Land. Even if fixed immortal travel did not self-detonate and Ying Wu Zai obtained it, he would go to Dang Hun Mountain or Luo Po Valley, and Lang Ya Sect would have to deal with the danger instead. Chapter 129 Vital Immortal Gu, Dog Shit Luck The relocation of Hu Immortal Blessed Land and Star Form Blessed Land is also settled now. Fang Yuan could finally exhale a breath of relief after completing this matter. He considered defeat before considering victory. After this matter was settled, no matter how Ying Wu Zai reacted, Fang Yuan's losses would already be reduced greatly. It was interesting, actually, under a series of odd events, his and Ying Wu Zai's statuses had swapped. Fang Yuan aspired to attain eternal life. A physical body to him was no different to a bag of flesh, and he felt no reluctance in altering it. What he cared about were three aspects. First, his original body's goo worms. Second, the cultivation resources he accumulated in Hu Immortal Blessed Land and Star Form Blessed Land. Third, the relations with Hai Lu Lan, Tai Bai Yun Sheng, Lang Ya Lan Spirit, Spirit Affinity House, Immortal Crane Sect and others. Fang Yuan gazed at the dark sky, the mountain winds shaking the branches of the pine tree he was resting on. He pondered. By this time, fixed immortal travel should have already self-destructed. Next, the other goo worms will self-destruct one after the other. I wonder how Ying Wu Zai will deal with this. There is little to no hope for me in taking these goo worms back now. The resources of Hu Immortal Blessed Land and Star Form Blessed Land have already been moved. Hu Immortal Blessed Land has fallen into the hands of Central Continent's Gu Immortals, and Star Form Blessed Land is hidden deep within Earth Abyss. Now, only the third matter remains, Hai Lu Lan, Tai Bai Yun Sheng and others. Fang Yuan carefully pondered. Regarding the third aspect, the relations with Central Continent's Spirit Affinity House and Immortal Crane Sect were already broken. The truth of Fang Yuan destroying 88 True Young Building was already exposed everywhere. Heavenly Court would definitely pursue this and find trouble with Fang Yuan. From a certain perspective, Ying Wu Zai possessing Fang Yuan's physical body meant he would face the disaster for Fang Yuan to an extent. So he did not need to worry about these. What Fang Yuan was worried about were Hai Lu Lan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng. Fairy Lai Shan and Blazing Heaven Demoness were dead. Hai Lu Lan's value had fallen sharply but she was still a ten extreme physique Gu immortal with a great strength true martial physique. Adding in her identity in his previous life as Spirit Affinity House's fairy, as well as her strong luck and formidable character, she absolutely could not be looked down upon. And Tai Bai Yun Sheng might only have two immortal Gu, but each of them were top-grade Gu worms with huge practical value. Fang Yuan was extremely worried that these two would be used by Ying Wu Zai to make difficulties for him. So after he connected with Hu Immortal Blessed Land and Star Form Blessed Land, he immediately tried to communicate with Hai Lu Lan and Tai Bai Yun Sheng in Treasure Yellow Heaven. They had left behind their wills in Treasure Yellow Heaven. This was a communication method prepared early on. But although Fang Yuan contacted these two wills at Treasure Yellow Heaven, 
he had yet to truly contact the two of them. Only when these two people connect to treasure yellow heaven and their wills return to their main bodies would they be able to understand and learn the truth. With no contact from them, the worry in Fang Yuan's eyes became even deeper. Without other options, he chose to give up trying for now and contacted Lang Yalan spirit. And this time, he obtained a reply almost immediately. Lad, you finally contacted me. Lang Yalan spirit appeared extremely excited as he called out. In truth, he had agreed to help Fang Yuan relocate the resources mainly due to Fang Yuan's status as a member of Lang Ya sect. But when he saw Dang Hun Mountain, Luo Po Valley, and especially Wisdom Gu, he was completely dumbstruck with amazement. To sum it up in a single word, he was shocked. He had never expected Fang Yuan's hidden accumulations to be so deep. So deep to the extent it made him unable to believe it. Hearing Lang Yalan spirit's words, Fang Yuan smiled. It was as if he was looking at the land spirit, with hair all over his body, like a gorilla jumping around with an exaggerated appearance. Lang Yalan spirit originated from long hair ancestor. He was extremely special as he was formed from two obsessions. This current obsession was filled with aggressiveness, wholeheartedly wanting to make hairy men the rulers, the masters of the five regions, suppressing humans. Compared to the previous sagely-looking land spirit, this one was more erratic. But no matter which one, land spirits could not lie. They were frank and honest. Fang Yuan could be much more at ease in dealing with the land spirit than human goo immortals who were able to hide their intentions from him. Seeing that Fang Yuan was keeping quiet, Lang Ya Lan spirit could not endure it and continued speaking. Fang Yuan, Lang Ya sect has done a huge favor for you this time. What if you lost these? Wouldn't you want to smash your own head and die? So how will you repay me? Pausing for a while, Fang Yuan heard Lang Ya Lan spirit speak again. Lad, contribute these things to the sect. I absolutely won't let you suffer a loss. You are our external supreme elder. I will give you an uncountable number of sect contribution points, enough to exchange for countless immortal goo recipes and immortal goo. Since Fang Yuan had asked Lang Yalan spirit for help, he naturally was already mentally prepared. Anyone who saw Dang Han Mountain, Luo Po Valley and Wisdom Goo would definitely be moved. Even Lang Yalan spirit was not an exception. Lang Yalan spirit might be straightforward and stubborn, with a one-track mind, but he was not without intelligence. Fang Yuan calmly replied, I am Lang Ya Sek's external supreme elder, these are all mine. First elder, you are not thinking of embezzling my possessions, right? Hey hey, Lang Ya Lan spirit grabbed at his hair while yelling, If I had known this beforehand, I would not have let you join Lang Ya Sect. I could have directly confiscated these supreme treasures if so, Damn it, I told the truth again. Fang Yuan laughed. Back then, Lang Ya Lan spirit sincerely wanted Fang Yuan to join Lang Ya sect. Now that both sides had already set the agreement, it was too late for Lang Ya Lan spirit to go against it. At least by his current means, he was not able to breach the agreement. Even if he wanted to renege on the agreement, he needed to prepare for some time to break the information path agreement between the two sides. Even so, because he could not lie, Fang Yuan just needed to probe slightly to extract the information. Just based on this point, Fang Yuan already had Lang Ya Lan spirit firmly in his grasp. After some careful thinking, Fang Yuan still felt it was better to leave Dang Hun Mountain, Luo Po Valley and Wisdom Gu in Lang Ya Blessed Land. Dang Hun Mountain and Luo Po Valley were two treasure troves once held by Spectral Soul Demon Venerable. If fixed immortal travel hadn't been destroyed, wouldn't it mean Ying Wu Zai and others could casually return to these two places? If Fang Yuan placed these two treasure troves in his own immortal aperture, that would be a huge mistake. It would be opening the door for robbers, letting a wolf into one's house. As for Wisdom Gu, Fang Yuan could not use it for the moment. He had now revived with a new physical body, unlike his previous immortal zombie body. 
in his immortal zombie body. Fang Yuan had no need to fear the light of wisdom. But right now, if he entered this light, his lifespan would start decreasing, which was a price Fang Yuan could not accept. So from now on, unless he had no alternative, it was better to not use Wisdom Goo. I have obtained the Sovereign Immortal Aperture, but lost the support of Wisdom Goo. It can be considered that there are losses along with the gains. But there will be a day I will find a method to use Wisdom Goo with a living body. During this period of time, it is better to let Lang Ya Land Spirit safeguard Wisdom Goo, saving me from worrying about it. Thinking of this, Fang Yuan said to Lang Ya Land Spirit, First Supreme Elder, you want me to present these three treasures to the sect, that is impossible. But we can cooperate. I can lend Dang Hun Mountain, Luo Po Valley and Wisdom Gu for the sect's use. The sect will be in charge of safekeeping them, if anything unexpected happens, you will have to compensate me ten times over. Besides this, you need to compensate me with some sect contribution points too. Lang Yalan spirit was jubilant, almost dancing with joy as he shouted, Lad, you are quite tactful. That's good, that's good. With Dang Hun Mountain and Luo Po Valley, I can let these children refine and strengthen their souls. It will be a huge help to their goo refinement. Also Wisdom Goo. He he, this is a rank 9 goo of Wisdom Path. In the past, it was the vital goo of Star Constellation Immortal Venerable. Haha. <laughs> Using it to deduce immortal goo recipes is simply too wonderful. From the land spirit's tone, he actually knew how to use wisdom goo. Fang Yuan could not help asking. Lang Ya land spirit was not stupid, replying with a chuckle. You want to know the method to use wisdom goo, then exchange for it with contribution points. Our Lang Ya sect is fair. Both sides negotiated for a while before completing the matter of collaboration. Fang Yuan then casually mentioned the Featherman Zhu Zhang. This variant human was Fang Yuan's slave, but it was not impossible for this relation to be exposed. Tai Bai Yun Sheng and Hai Lu Lan knew of Zhu Zhang. He was already exposed. It was better to let him lead those Feathermen to stay in Lang Ya Blessed Land for the time being. In any case, Langya Blessed Land space was extremely huge. Of course, it was unable to compare with Fang Yuan's sovereign immortal aperture in terms of potential future space. As for those hairy man slaves in the Fang Yuan stone nests, after Fang Yuan haggled with Lang Ya Land spirit, these hairy man slaves still belonged to Fang Yuan, but he had to remove their slave status, they could only be considered Fang Yuan's subordinates in Lang Ya sect. Because of his identity, Lang Yalan spirit had deep love for hairy men and disdain for other races, having a doctrine that hairy men were to be the rulers. Naturally, he would not let Fang Yuan continue to order these hairy men as slaves. It was already extraordinary for him to still let these hairy men be subordinate to Fang Yuan, not arguing about it. Fang Yuan was actually quite happy about this. These hairy men were now free and belonged to Lang Ya Blessed Land. But as long as Fang Yuan mobilized them to refine Gu, they would have to obey his orders, which was not much different from beforehand. These hairy men would even be nurtured by Lang Ya Land Spirit, building their own families and working in the Blessed Land, which would stimulate their passion for Gu refinement and increase their work efficiency. Finally, Fang Yuan briefly informed Lang Yalan spirit about the matter regarding Ying Wu Zai and Shadow Sect. Lang Yalan spirit listened on while staring blankly, and only a long time after Fang Yuan finished talking did he react. So you even had Red Lotus Demon Venerable's vital immortal goo, Spring Autumn Cicada, Lang Yalan spirit cried out again, Lad, what kind of dog shit luck do you have? No, don't tell me you even have giant sun immortal venerables vital immortal goo, dog shit luck? So giant sun immortal venerables vital immortal goo was actually dog shit luck, not fortune rivaling heaven goo? Lang Yalan spirit snorted. He refined fortune rivaling heaven in his later years. In his early years, it was dog shit luck. I had cooperated with him when I was alive. How would I not know? Chapter 1030, Making High Lu Land Defect 
Fang Yuan had a peculiar expression. This was the first time he was hearing about dog shit luck. This strange sounding immortal goop. In the current situation, it was not a big deal to expose spring autumn cicada. Heavenly Quartz Goo Immortals already knew about it. That meant the ten great ancient sects also knew of it. The entire world would basically know of it. Lang Yalan's spirit continued. It is a pity that this spring autumn cicada is only rank six. If it were the former rank nine spring autumn cicada, you would definitely obtain victory. Since spring autumn cicada is in Ying Wu Zai's hands, you cannot allow him to use it. But thankfully, I have quite a few time path methods. Spring Autumn Cicada is only rank 6 and I know who has it. It is quite easy to counter it. Counter Spring Autumn Cicada? Fang Yuan felt great interest. In fact, this was his biggest worry currently. Lang Yalan Spirit said, Spring Autumn Cicada is merely rank 6, so be it if we do not know who owns it. But since we know, it is easy to deal with. It might be Red Lotus Demon Venerable's Vital Immortal Goo. But so what? There are only Invincible Goo Masters. There are no Invincible Goo Worms. In the entire world, Time Path is not the strongest. All of the different paths have their strength. But if we use Time Path methods, it would be more effective as a counter. Fang Yuan heard this and nodded, feeling that Lang Yalan Spirit's words made a lot of sense. Like just earlier, he used Spring Autumn Cicada to rebirth and was used by Shadow Sect after they deduced it. This was a classic example of Wisdom Path countering Time Path. Spring Autumn Cicada had its unique ability, but it was not invincible. Man is the spirit of all living beings. Gu are the essence of heaven and earth. The world was balanced. It made sense that Spring Autumn Cicada was countered by other methods. Since rebirth, I have been treating Spring Autumn Cicada as my greatest trump card. To think that I would need to deal with it one day. Fang Yuan sighed internally. When he was contacting Lang Yalan Spirit at the same time in Central Continent, Ming Tang Valley. This valley that was bathed in light all year round was famous in Central Continent. It was under control of Wind Cloud Manor and Heavenly Lotus Sect. Two of the ten great ancient sects, it was famous in Central Continent for being among the best places to produce light path goo worms. This land of treasures was incredibly rich in light path Dao marks. Almost every twenty years, there would be wild light path immortal goo formed. Deep in this Ming Tang Valley, there was a hidden demonic path goo immortal. Unmoving Mountain Gong Sun Yang. Suddenly, he opened his eyes from his deep sleep. Oh, someone is calling me, he muttered lightly. The suspicious expression on his face faded at once, turning into a serious and solemn expression. His consciousness entered his immortal aperture as he used a special information path method to communicate. Boss, you want to borrow my immortal goo? On the other end, in a deep part of Earth abyss, Ying Wu Zai answered, Yes. Gong Sun Liang opened his eyes, without any sleepiness left. He was very hesitant. His gaze was flickering. He was a demonic path Gu Immortal. He had been chased and suppressed by Central Continent's righteous path, especially the ten great ancient sects. He lived like a fugitive. During one of his near-fatal escapes, he fell into a trap and nearly died. At that time, he was saved by a mysterious man. Gong Sun Liang not only kept his life under the lead of the mysterious man, he joined a mysterious organization. This organization was called Defy. The members of the organization were identified with numbers. They were very mysterious. Gong Sun Liang had obtained much help from this organization. If not for that, he would not have been able to escape up until now without getting caught by the ten great ancient sects. As time passed, he saw the importance of this organization and had some guesses towards the motives of this organization. This organization's codename shows the time the person joined and their status in the organization. Boss is at the top. He is the person who created Defy. He suddenly wants to borrow my goo. After hesitating for a long time, Gong Sun Liang gritted his teeth and nodded in agreement. 
Central Continent, Great Heavenly Sword Sect. Two Sword Path Gu Immortals, Mayo Jun and Mayo Yu, were discussing the matters of their sect. Suddenly, Mayo Jun's body shook. He received the information that Ying Wu's eye sent. Facing Ying Wu's eye's request, Mayo Jun was very hesitant. He said to Mayo Yu, The boss contacted me. He wants to borrow our immortal Gu. Mayo Yu frowned. This boss is very mysterious. We have only joined Defy for a short time. We have not heard about the boss information. But the moment he contacted us, he wants to borrow immortal Gu. Mayo Jun nodded. We joined Defy because we wanted their help. But earlier, when trying to leave Immortal Crane Sect, they did not provide us any help. And now, they want to borrow Immortal Goo from us. This boss is truly shameless. A few years ago, someone in Great Heavenly Sword Sect ascended to Immortal. Thus, this force had three Goo Immortals. Great Heavenly Sword Sect was a subsidiary force of Immortal Crane Sect. After having three Gu Immortals, they wanted to get rid of their vassal status from Immortal Crane Sect. Unfortunately, they did not succeed. Immortal Crane Sect's plan worked, and they lured their third Gu Immortal away. After this matter, Great Heavenly Sword Sect was taken care of by Immortal Crane Sect. Mayo Jun and Mayo Yu's lives were getting tough. The two wanted to borrow the strength of Defy, but their wishes were not granted. Thus, they were not happy. As a result, Ying Wu Zai failed to borrow their Gu using his identity as the boss. In Earth Abyss, in a secret room, Ying Wu Zai slammed the table in front of him, smashing it. HMPH, Mayo Jun, Mayo Yu, Ying Wu Zai gritted his teeth, his expression was dark. This organization called Defy was created by Shadow Sect. Central Continent was different from the other four regions. Heavenly Court ruled over it. Its subsidiary forces, the ten great ancient sects, split up most of Central Continent's resources and controlled it tightly. Below the ten great ancient sects, there were countless forces trying to survive. People looked up to bigger forces, who would not want to improve, who would not want to expand their territory and obtain more resources for themselves especially Gu Immortals, they had to face tribulations once in a while. Thus, Gu Immortals were forced to improve, otherwise, they would die from the calamities and tribulations. It was not so easy to increase one's strength. One couldn't cook a meal without the ingredients. The most important thing was the lack of resources. But the ten great ancient sects had incredible strength. They occupied most resources. The other forces could not gather enough strength to influence their control. People with aspirations noticed this and interacted with one another, forming all sorts of alliances. But these alliances did not last long, because Central Continent's ten great ancient sects sowed discord between them, or the members of the alliance went into internal conflicts themselves. Of course, the fundamental problem was insufficient strength to challenge Central Continent's ten great ancient sects. Shadow Sect thus secretly created the organization Defy, selecting the members carefully and getting stronger. But this was only a casual move. Even the Shadow Sect member who created the organization Defy back then did not have much expectations. The more members there were, the more inflated the organization was, and the more complex and hard to manage it was. Furthermore, these members were not otherworldly demons, they were not even fate escapees. They could not be used to resist heaven's will. Thus, back then, Spectral Soul's goo refinement plan did not involve these people. If he mobilized them, would they listen? Even if they did, there was a high chance that heaven's will would make use of them. It was not worth it. But at this moment, Shadow Sect's plan failed, they were dealt a huge blow. After rebirth, Ying Wu Zai had to make use of the strength of Defy. His experience in borrowing Gu was not very successful. Most Gu Immortals gave lots of excuses. Immortal Gu were very precious, the identities of the members of Defy were kept secret, they did not know each other, the organization was not strict in enforcement, how difficult would it be to borrow Gu? 
only people like unmoving mountain gong Sun Liang, these demonic path Gu immortals without any support would need to make use of Defy in order to escape from the pursuit of Central Continent's righteous path and avoid deductions. He could not leave Defy. Thus, even if he did not want to, he had to take a risk and lend the immortal Gu to Ying Wu Zai. Ying Wu Zai tried for a long time to borrow Gu, while Fang Yuan's Gu worms were in the processing of self-detonating one by one. Eventually, even though Ying Wu Zai managed to suppress them and prevented the Gu worms from continuing to self-detonate, his losses were severe. Fang Yuan, good job! You are really resolute in cutting your losses. In the darkness, Ying Wu Zai had a grim expression, but only a person with your caliber would be able to obtain sovereign immortal fetus Gu, after all. After suppressing Fang Yuan's Gu worms, Ying Wu Zai used the borrowed immortal Gu to get rid of Fang Yuan's fake will in his mind. Just as he was about to continue and use the immortal Gu to make Fang Yuan's Gu worms his, he had a feeling as he noticed Hai Lu Lan's actions. Hai Lu Lan was sitting on a rock bed, opening her eyes. She was frowning, as worry flashed across deeply in her eyes. In the room, from a corner within the darkness, Ying Wu Zai's voice could be heard, Hai Lu Lan, you can stop trying. In this place, it is impossible for you to use connecting heaven Gu to reach treasure yellow heaven. Hai Lu Lan's gaze shined, she was about to speak. At this moment, Ying Wu Zai continued, You don't have to pretend and lie to me. I know you are suspicious of my identity, then I will tell you. That's right, I am not Fang Yuan, I am Ying Wu Zai. Hai Lu Lan's expression changed. She was not Tai Bai Yan Sheng, she was not easy to fool. After Fang Yuan woke up, he acted strangely. Hai Lu Lan held back her suspicions because they had to use fixed immortal travel to escape first. But to think that Ying Wu Zai brought her here. There was a super Gu formation here. The defenses were tight, actually preventing connecting Heaven Gu from use. She could not connect to Treasure Yellow Heaven. After Hai Lu Lan failed to reach Treasure Yellow Heaven, she realized that Ying Wu Zai's identity was even more suspicious. But now, Ying Wu Zai directly told her the truth. Hai Lu Lan did not know how to react. You know my identity. Ying Wu Zai's voice continued. I am one of Spectral Soul Demon Venerable's split souls. I took over Fang Yuan's body. You have two choices now. One is to die. The other is to abandon Fang Yuan and join me. For Ying Wu Zai, Hai Lu Lan had the great strength true martial physique and was someone who escaped fate. She was a high-quality pawn. But if Hai Lu Lan did not know what was good for her, he would kill her with no reservations. He could use Hai Lu Lan's corpse to revive his current body. Using the Gu formation here, Ying Wu Zai was completely confident in taking down Hai Lu Lan.